What's up guys, uh, welcome uh, back to the next video in Learn PHP. In the previous video we have uh, introduced you guys uh, to the PHP, what PHP is and uh, the history of the PHP and we have shown you guys about the print function which is common between the C, C++ and PHP and we said that the PHP started with Perl and moved ahead to C, C++ and as it become very popular and today around the world wide the PHP is one of the most uh, popular languages. Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you guys the different uh, methods of creating server. Okay, what is server local host? As uh, you guys know that uh, we, are, we are working with Bootstrap and the ZOMP, which stands for cross, uh, cross platform Apache, MySQL, uh, PHP and Perl. So this is an open source and you guys can use it to create the server, which is the local host. And if you guys know that uh, we are working on, uh, I'm working on this uh, Bootstrap salon and you guys know that I'm here on uh, uh local host our one two seven zero zero one that's the uh, ip for this local host i'm not connected to the internet so i'm working without the internet i don't care if there is the internet or no internet i don't care uh, as i'm uh, developing my uh, website or app uh, i don't need the internet so you guys see that this is running on totally on uh, local host there is no live server or anything the difference between local host and the live server is local host inside your own computer you don't need internet which is here and uh, and uh, with the live server which is this uh, GoDaddy uh, you guys need to go to this HTTPS hypertext uh, transport protocol and you guys need to access this alright so in this video I'm going to show you guys the different uh, methods of uh, running your uh, server so one method is this zomp which is very popular everybody uses another method is uh, when you guys learning php you guys might go and uh, you guys bump up to this uh, uh, different uh, uh, tutorials which you, you guys telling you guys to go ahead and uh, create account here in order to learn uh, php so one thing i'll tell you guys don't go if you don't have experience with this uh, godaddy or uh, any other uh, uh, hosting uh, providers uh, there are tons of them there's a uh, uh, Amazon Google you name it you know so there is um, heaps and heaps of uh, hosting so one search of uh, hosting if you guys don't know about the hosting is that hosting providers and if you look at the hosting providers they are, uh, as far as I know, there are more than uh, 500. If you go to the PC, PC Mac, and look at this, guys. Uh, there is a host getter, host wind, A2 hosting, Dream host, and all of them, this hosting which are competing against each other. Just to name a few, uh, there is a GoDaddy. Uh, cloud cloud ways you name it uh, there are tons and tons of hostings in Singapore there are in India in Europe in Russia so the the all uh, one thing if someone's coming tell to you guys and telling you that in order to learn PHP you guys go and sign up with one of these so you guys see this is not a not a cheap you know it's per month so it's just uh, with the discount and everything so if you guys not creating a website live website you guys uh, only needs to go here with this local host you don't need to pay anything it's just for free so you guys just don't go in this uh, uh, GoDaddy or anything I know they're all running PHP I know they are uh, but they are live websites they are, it costs money for you guys uh, to begin with in order for you guys to sign in you guys need to pay money so if you guys want to learn a PHP or a PHP my admin SQL or anything else database you guys do not go in this live website and sign up or anything in order to learn a PHP with the PHP all you guys need is a local host uh, alright so the, lo the local host is free completely free and you guys see that the web server the first of all is the web server for Windows it's uh, Windows Apache MySQL in PHP it says WAMP is uh, Windows Apache MySQL 
uh, PHP server is a server Apache PHP MySQL uh, Windows is means it's the server for Windows you don't it's not a live server they even have this uh, you guys see that PHP training so you guys either download one of these and you guys if you guys got a Mac or Windows you guys can go to this Mac Mac Apache MySQL PHP if you guys got a Linux uh, you guys know that this is a lamp Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So it's a lamp server. That's the difference between the local. If you guys see that here, if you guys go into PHP uh, Linux command line and you guys enter this copy page, this one, restart this one, Apache 2 restart and PHP INI. So that's how you guys create your uh, local host function. And this this all for free and none of them cost you anything not even single cent so if you guys not running the linux and you guys running the windows so this that's the lamp is all of the question and we coming here at the map which says that uh, and if you guys look at here mem pro for windows it means you guys can uh, uh do the mem pro with windows you guys do not need a uh, pro because you guys need a uh, download just the basic version because you guys learning php or this guy is here and these people are completely free here i've got a zamp as cross platform is x stands for cross platform apache mysql php and perl if you guys doing perl this is the best option so that's a ZEM and it runs inside this is perfect for uh, uh, learning PHP because you guys learning PHP and the server side and you guys need to know these things. It's MEMP viewer is a Pro 6.3 and we don't need to download a Pro. So you guys see that uh, it says free download and so it says that uh, that's for Windows. If you guys look at this, that's for Windows, and because it's got a uh, so what I'll do is I'll download this, but I'm more interested on this one. If I go here on download, and it takes you here, 64 bit because my I'm running Win uh, Windows 64. And that's what it is here. So I'll go here. Okay, so you guys can go here directly. It is a little faint orange says here you can direct and it takes you to source forge, which is the software download uh, website. And you guys can uh, download. Okay, so it says download the latest version, which is this one. And you guys see that uh, 3.23 x64 is downloading and I'm going to put a save file and the file is going to be saved. Web server. So we select English for uh, our language. And then you guys go ahead and uh, I accept and we go next and we go next. And we're installing web 64 on C and we're going next and you guys see here is MariaDB MariaDB is our website uh, MySQL database we go next and we install all right so it's asking notepad exe the notepad will be used and uh, do you want to choose another yes we go on the C and we look for uh, program files and we look for sublime text because I've got a sublime text here This one, Sublime Text 3. Sublime Text. You guys can uh, choose any other notepad of your choice, maybe. Whatever you've got, got a system installer and you guys using for PHP. 
Right guys, um, looks like our uh, web st installed, so we're gonna put a finish and we're gonna look for our web. So we go on the web, the web 64, that's web manager. All right, so now that's our web. It's sitting in our pen. And you guys see here, you guys see here localhost, PHP my admin, uh, virtual host, directory, Apache, PHP, MySQL, MariaDB, which we're going to explain in a few other videos. So we go and try if the WAMP is running. So you guys check your uh, web server and looks like uh, when you guys type your uh, local host, the web server is going to show. All right, so local host and you guys see here, that's a web which installed. As guys, uh, as you can see that um, my uh, web server is ready to rock and roll. So it's... Uh, Running is going to MariaDB database and PHP 5 and 7, perfect. And MySQL 5 and 8, perfect. Apache 2.4, perfect. So that's what I need for uh, my uh, projects and my, for my PHP. And you guys see that uh, the next video is we're going to see how we're going to create our projects inside this uh, web. All right, guys, that's it for uh, this video. And uh, if you guys got any question or comment, just leave it uh, in the comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.